Earlier this month, a local homeowner went viral after surveillance video captured him defending his home, pulling out his concealed carry weapon and firing at a pair of armed suspects. Now, until today, he has remained anonymous, but tonight he says it's time to come forward and show his face. That homeowner is Vince Ritchie, and Vince joins me now. Vince, thank you so much for being with me tonight. I want to... Uh, Take us back. I want you to take us back to the, November the 4th, the night that this happened, the moment that you felt that gun to your back. What was that like? It was surreal, honestly. Uh, I never thought it was going to happen. I really didn't. Uh, born and raised in the Bronx, New York, and I came here for a better life. And I came here to uh, introduce my family to a better life in sunny California. And I never would have thought that this ever was going to happen in a million years. And I literally turned around, and the first thing I thought, I feared for my family and I feared for my daughter. Yeah, you have a five-month-old baby who was on the other side of that door along with your wife who was home. This was at 7.30, if I'm not mistaken, on a Saturday night. Uh, Vince, why are you deciding to come forward now? Because if I, if I don't speak up, nothing's going to happen. Uh, I don't know what's going on with the investigation. I don't think that the police department is going to prop support from local officials. I know the district attorney has constantly dropped the ball recently. We live in a lawless society in, in California and Los Angeles and especially in the state with this with this governor the lack thereof and i think that if i don't come forward and implore that people need to activate their rights they need to stand up for the second amendment they need to actually utilize their rights before it's taken away you know what if it was at my neighbor who doesn't have a firearm or my neighbor down the block all my neighbors band together to support me but they support me in a way of telling me how they've also been robbed and make me feel like i'm part of this club this isn't normal you know i grew up in a much different area and this is even disturbing to me that this is what's acceptable now in society. What are you hearing from uh, law enforcement, LAPD in particular, because they are investigating this. We reached out to them today. The watch commander says, quote, we are aware of this incident and says that there are no arrests or updates in this case. I know that they've been out to your home a couple of times since no November the 4th. No arrests, what are you hearing? I haven't heard much. You know, they, they haven't really reached out to me. I've spoke to a few of them. I think as individuals, they're, they're great. I support the police department. I think they're not getting the support that they need. They need to bump this up. They need to bump this up and get other resources to be able to do that. They're flooded with constantly having these type of crimes happen. This area is flooded with this type of crime. This is an isolated incident. This is not just incidences in the disenfranchised areas. This is all over Los Angeles. The perceived upper class are being hunted for jewelry and, and home invasions. And we're not even talking about it like it's normal. Everybody that spoke to me, oh, I've been robbed. I've been robbed. My neighbor's been robbed. Oh, they've robbed my house twice. That's, this isn't normal. And the police need to stand up and say, give us the support we need from our mayor, from our governor, from our district attorney. District attorney is constantly dropping the ball. This is a lawless society. This loose bail effort we're making, it's not working. It's, I understand the progressive agenda, but there's no progress. The city's not making any progress. We're just going backwards. It's well, getting worse. You know, speaking of no progress, you think that you actually know who these guys are because this is not your first time that you've been targeted at your home on your private property. Is that right? Yeah, three months ago, my house was robbed. They took every piece of valuable thing we had in the home. And, I and no arrests were made then? There was no arrest made. There was no follow-up investigation. And I implored the captain, please. I said, I'm going to get killed. You're leaving me out here to dry. Not only are they leaving me out there to dry, now they suspended my... Oh, we're starting to... You're starting to break up a little Gary. bit. So when did the take it away from me to be late? You know what? Maybe we can get you back because I want to make sure some of our viewers... Hello? you're frozen I think we can hear you but I, I want to I want to make sure that that we get this in there and that is that uh, some of our viewers may be thinking you know this guy kind of looks familiar you know why because Vince Ritchie was on our air last December because you were hosting a record-breaking toy drive. Here's the moment you joined us last December. You're a philanthropist within your community. You founded a nonprofit in your late mother's name to give back to the underprivileged. Uh, will this experience dampen your giving spirit, Vince? No, there's no fear in my heart and there's no fear that any criminal could put in my heart that will stop me from giving back. This community has embraced me, especially some of the disenfranchised areas that I give back to has embraced me as part of this, as part of the community. I'm not 
uh, California and I'm from New York and they've taken me in and I will always give back and I always be here to do it no matter what goes on. No matter what the city officials do, no matter how much this reflects a third world country, I will always give back because that's part of who I am and I'm not going to let that change in my core. And I think that we need to make change on a local level. People need to stand up, defend themselves and also give back. Less than 15 seconds. Are you planning to leave California because of this? I'm not going to leave out of fear, but I'm also not going to stubbornly force my wife and my family to stay here if they don't want to be here anymore. If it continues to get worse, I don't think that I'm going to stay here much longer. Well, I know that uh, your wife uh, is, is really having a hard time with this, so I'm sorry about that. My love to her. Uh, Vince, uh, I appreciate you coming on our air tonight. I know this is your first local uh, TV interview, so uh, my gratitude to you. Stay safe, and we'll, we'll keep on LAPD to see if we can't get this resolved one way or the other. Vince Ritchie, thanks Ma so much for being with me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Paula. Thank you.